everybody and welcome back as we listen together to our gospel for today, which is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now, I happen to know that some of you who listen to these videos to learn more about the gospel, you're getting ready to receive two very important sacraments, aren't you? Put your hand up if you're getting ready to receive some sacraments soon. Oh, I'm getting lots of hands up. Now, because I'm very, very clever, I know that those two sacraments are confession or reconciliation and the Eucharist or Holy Communion. Is that right? Are some of you getting ready to receive confession and Holy Communion? I'm seeing lots of nods. Now, the reason I know that is not, it's not actually because I'm really clever. It's because your mums and dads and your catechists at your church told me this. So that's how I know, which is very exciting. But also I'm thinking that those of you who are getting ready to receive these sacraments, or even if you've received them already, I think that the story that Jesus tells us in this gospel is going to remind you of one of the sacraments that you're getting ready to receive. So what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to think very hard when we're reading the gospel together. Which sacrament does this story remind me of? Okay, does that sound good? Let's do it. So as we get ready to read the gospel together, first of all, we make ourselves very quiet and still inside. And we ask God to help us to listen to his word. So we say, Lord, may your word be on my mind and on my lips and in my heart. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus spoke the following parable to some people who prided themselves on being virtuous and despised everybody else. He said, two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood there and said this prayer to himself, I thank you, God, that I am not grasping, unjust, adulterous, like the rest of mankind, and particularly that I am not like this tax collector here. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on all I get. The tax collector stood some distance away, not daring even to raise his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast and said, God, be merciful to me a sinner. Jesus said, this man, I tell you, went home again at rights with God. The other did not. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. But the man who humbles himself will be exalted. Now, I asked you at the beginning, what sacrament does this story remind you of? And I'll give you a little clue. The tax collector goes to God and he says, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And Jesus tells us that he went home at rights with God, which means he went home friends with God. He'd become friends with God again. And I wonder, is there a sacrament where we say, God, I've done some terrible sins, so please show me your love and mercy. And we go home from that sacrament, friends with God again. Does that remind you of anything, a sacrament that you're preparing to receive? Oh, well done if you said the sacrament of confession or the sacrament of reconciliation. Because what the tax collector has just done is what we all do when we go to confession. We go to God and we say, God, I've done some really bad things and they've made me very sad and unhappy. 
and they've made other people very sad and unhappy. And also, they've made me go further away from you. It's like I've said no to us being friends with each other. So I want your mercy, God. I want you to pour out your love and your kindness upon me so that I can be friends with you again. And what does God say when we go to confession and like the tax collector and say all these things? Does God say, no, I don't want to be your friend anymore? Does he say that? No, he doesn't, does he? He says, yes, of course, I will show you mercy. I will forgive all your sins. And we can be at rights with each other again, which means being friends with each other again. Now, imagine if the Pharisee had gone to confession and he sat down in confession and he said, God, I think actually I'm amazing and I've never done anything to make anyone unhappy or sad. In fact, I'm the best person ever and I'm a lot better than that other stupid person who's come here and told you all, your, all his sins. Do you think that's the right sort of attitude to have? Ooh, put your thumbs up if you think, yeah, the Pharisee's got the right idea. He's got the right attitude. Oh, no, I'm seeing, not, I'm seeing lots of thumbs down. No, the Pharisee doesn't have a very good attitude, does he? Because do you think it's true that the Pharisee has never done anything wrong, never done anything sinful, never done anything to, to say no to God? No, I don't think that's true. So who do you think we should be more like? Do you think we should be more like the Pharisee who says, I'm fine, I've never done anything wrong, I don't need to say sorry to God? Or should we be more like the tax collector who says, God, I've done some bad things, but I know that you love me so much that you're going to be merciful to me and we can be friends again. Could you point at who you think we should be more like? Ooh, I'm seeing lots of good pointing. I think we should be more like the tax collector who says sorry to God because he knows that God loves him so much that he will forgive his sins. Do we want God to forgive our sins? Put your hand up if you want God to forgive your sins so that you can be better friends with him. I do, because did you know, even when you're a sister, even when you're like me, you're a bit like the tax collector and you do bad things and you need to ask God to show you mercy. And that's why I go to confession. I go to the sacrament of confession so that I can say to God, please show me mercy. And God says, yes, of course I will. We're friends again now. And that's absolutely amazing. So I think we should give thanks to God for giving us the sacrament of confession, which lets us receive his mercy and become his friends again. And maybe if we're getting ready to go to confession for the first time, we can pray that God will open up our hearts so that it's a really wonderful confession. And if we haven't gone to confession for a while, maybe we can ask God to give us the help we need to go back to confession and receive his mercy and his love. Shall we pray for those things? Yeah, I think we should. So to begin our prayer, we make ourselves very quiet and still inside again. And we say to God, thank you for giving us your son, Jesus, who shows us that you are full of mercy and full of love. Thank you for giving us Jesus so that he could tell us these stories that help us to understand what we should be doing and what you are like. And we can say please to God, please, can you give us the help we need to make a good confession so that we can receive all your love and mercy just like the tax collector did when he prayed to you. And then we can say sorry to God. And 
then we can say sorry to God. Because we know that it's in confession that God forgives our sins, but we can still say sorry now in our own personal prayer in our hearts to help us to get ready for confession. So we say sorry to God in our hearts for the times that we've been a bit like the Pharisee and done bad things but not wanted to be honest about it and not wanted to say sorry. So we say sorry to God now because that opens up our hearts ready to go to confession. And now we pray to God quietly in our own words, saying whatever we want to him. And we can also spend some time just listening to God, just being quiet with God and hearing what he wants to say to us. We finish our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye.